Boom. Elon Musk's Ship 25 created a shocking explosion during a six-engine static fire test at Starbase in Texas. Meanwhile, in Fremont, California, another Musk creation called Neuralink is also generating concern among some people. Musk has officially confirmed that... Uh, hopefully, later this year, we'll do our first uh, human uh, device implantation, and this will be for, for someone that has... Um, sort of tetraplegic, quadriplegic, um, does not have, it has lost the connection from their, their brain to their body. Indeed, Elon Musk's Neuralink has been making headlines as it applies its revolutionary research to all humans. With large projects such as Tesla and SpaceX already consuming a lot of Elon Musk's brain power and money, the success of Neuralink could be a game changer for the future of human health. As such, many people are curious about how the surgery will go and who will be the first to experience this groundbreaking research. Let's take a closer look at the first desirable human device surgery and see what makes it tick in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Please subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with our exciting videos. Let's begin. One of the most ambitious projects in the world is supported by a very rich person, Elon Musk. He owns a company called Neuralink that makes devices that can connect to the brain. The company showed that it can put these devices in animals and make them work. The device, not the animals. It also plans to do the same with a human this year. But there's someone who already has a device like this in his brain. His name is Nathan Copeland and he had a bad accident that made him unable to move his body below his chest. He can use the device to control a robot arm and do things by himself. So when exactly will Neuralink's chip be implanted in an actual human brain? Billionaire technology entrepreneur Elon Musk confirmed his brain chip startup Neuralink to start its first human trial this year. He made the declaration while speaking at the Viva Technology Conference held in Paris this past Friday. Musk said Neuralink will livestream its first human implant surgery later this year, allowing select media outlets to monitor the procedure via a webcast monitored by the Reuters news organization. Last month, Neuralink said it received US Food and Drug Administration clearance for its first inhuman clinical trial. A critical milestone for the startup as they have surpassed many reputable organizations in this high tech industry to receive FDA approval in a short time. If Neuralink can prove its device is safe in humans, it would still take several years, potentially more than a decade, for the startup to secure commercial use clearance, experts earlier said. However, Musk has leaped bounds in the the evolution of Neuralink's technology. Specifically, Musk has made predictions that Neuralink will soon begin human trials on at least four occasions since 2019. But then again, that's about a prediction per year. So who is suitable to participate in this surgery? Neuralink is seeking participants with paralysis, blindness, deafness, or the inability to speak. If you are in the United States, at least 18 years old, and have one of these conditions, you may be eligible to participate in Neuralink's patient registry. To register, you will need to provide information about your current and past medical history, demographics, education, work, and the assistive technologies you use. Neuralink will not sell your data to third parties. They will only share it with Neuralink affiliates, third parties on behalf of Neuralink, and research partners. Your information may also be used to determine your preliminary eligibility for future Neuralink clinical trials. If your profile meets the medical requirements, requirements, you will be asked to review and sign a separate informed consent document before participating in any clinical trial. This is an exciting opportunity to help shape the future of brain-computer interfaces. If you're interested in participating, please visit the Neuralink website to learn more. But how much does the Neuralink brain chip cost in 2023? Elon Musk says Neuralink's brain implant surgery will cost just a few thousand dollars. That's a lot cheaper than the current cost of brain implants, which can be up to $30,000. Musk says he's able to keep costs down by using a robotic surgeon that he developed in-house. The robot is purportedly very precise and can implant the chip in just a few minutes. 
Musk has invested a lot of money in Neuralink. He's personally put in $100 million, and the company has raised another $158 million from investors. That money has been used to develop the chip, the robot, and to hire a team of neuroscientists. Neuralink's goal is to make brain implants accessible to everyone. Musk says he wants to sell the chip to anyone who wants one regardless of their financial situation. He believes that brain implants have the potential to revolutionize the way we live and work. For example, people with paralysis could use brain implants to control computers and other devices with their thoughts. They could also use them to restore lost senses like sight or hearing. Musk even envisions a future where people use brain implants to upload and download information directly into their brains. I know Kung Fu. Of course, there are still some risks associated with brain implants, but Musk believes that the potential benefits outweigh the risks. He says that Neuralink is committed to safety and that the company will only release products that have been rigorously tested. Only time will tell if Neuralink can live up to Musk's promises. But one thing is for sure, Brain implants are a technology that has the potential to change the world. Now, what is the final purpose of Neuralink? Musk revealed Neuralink is developing implants that can go into the spinal cord and potentially restore movement to someone who suffers from paralysis. And it has an ocular implant meant to improve or restore human vision. So, um, essentially shunting the signals past the broken point, um, and, uh, and restore potentially full, full body um, use to someone that has uh, completely lost the connection. And we, we think we should be able to, that person will be able to uh, communicate uh, as fast as someone who has a fully functional body. Um, so that's gonna be a big deal. And we, and we see a path beyond that uh, to actually transfer the signals from the motor cortex of the brain to pass the injury in the spinal cord and actually um, enable someone's body to be used again. Neuralink has been refining the main product for the brain, which consists of a tiny device and electrode-laced wires, along with a robot that carves out a piece of a human skull and implants the wiring. Brain machine interface technology has been researched and advanced by academia for decades. Musk's entry into the arena, however, has spurred a wave of investment from venture capitalists into startups and helped push the field forward at a much more rapid clip. Neuralink competitor Precision Neuroscience conducted its first clinical study to map human brain signals. This company had an experiment to place Precision Neuroscience's neural implant system onto a conscious patient's brain. Although the same type of brain chip, these two products are very different in both form and how they work. The brain chip that Precision Neuroscience is developing is called the Layer 7 Cortical Interface, which is an electrode array resembling a piece of scotch tape. Since it's thinner than human hair, Precision says it can confirm to the brain's surface, conform to the brain's surface without damaging any tissue. And in that same study, Precision's system was temporarily placed onto the brains of three patients who were already undergoing neurosurgery to have tumors removed. Whereas the chip, Neuralink is developing is about the size of a coin and would be embedded in a person's skull. Thread thickness is nominally 4 to 6 micrometers and from the chip. An array of tiny wires, each roughly 20 times thinner than a human hair, fan out into the patient's brain. Additionally, it is also much thinner than the brain chip that Precision Neuroscience has created. It is seen that the road to market for the Precision Neuroscience company for this type of technology is a long one. In reality, Precision has not yet received FDA approval for its device, and the company will have to work closely with regulators to successfully conduct several extremely thorough rounds of testing and data safety collection. Neuralink's advantage over its rivals is one of processing power. Power. Musk bets that the more invasive surgery coupled with greater computing capabilities will help Neuralink's hardware achieve better results and restore more functions in humans than competing products. And in terms of the 
long game, Musk foresaw that one day people getting a brain transplant will be as simple as a quick outpatient procedure. While still very difficult in its early days, the totality of work being done by Neuralink makes it the only general purpose brain computer interface company. Other startups have focused on the brain or the eye or the spinal cord. Meanwhile, Neuralink hopes to do it all. So do you want to apply to Neuralink's patient registry? And would you pay for a Neuralink chip if it was cheaper than an iPhone to be a genius like Musk? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button and join our channel by subscribing. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by ringing the bell. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun. Thank you.